What's up guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and these number 500 tubes by TNT Fireworks are just dying to be cut open. And don't worry because we're going to take the powder out of one of them, weigh it, and see if it's worth the money, and then the other one we're going to go shoot off. I paid about $30 for each one, so I'm interested to see how much powder and how much boom we are getting for $30 a piece. Especially being that it's only one shot, I really want to see what kind of quality we're getting here. Real quick, I want to throw this disclaimer in here because I had a really good experience at the store and the employees, they were really friendly. I am in no way trying to bash the store I bought these from or the owner in selecting the prices. So between the two of these items, I really want to see the gold brocade and see how big it actually is. Now we got these photos on the front here. I don't know if those are stock photos or pictures of what this exact firework does. But anyway, we're going to put this one aside because I do want to see that. Let's go ahead and cut into the purple and crackling stars. So the first thing I want to do is get this scale out of the way and start cutting into this. I don't know how long this is going to take me to do. And this box cutter is just not going to do it. It will not lock in place, so I'm going to go get a different one real quick. All right, we've got the box cutter 2.0. Um, so let's see if this works a little better. And clearly it does. So let's see how deep we can cut into this. I know we're not cutting into shell right now. All right, we're getting there. Okay, we got it open. Um, and one thing you'll notice, uh, so I wanna show everything here. So this is completely hollow. You need a tube this size to fire a shell this big though. There's the plugs, they don't want you seeing the shell on the bottom. So this is the actual shell. Let's see if we can pull that out. Oh, it split open. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Would you look at that? <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to get this out of here. Oop, all right, look at this. So there is the compartment for the lift charge, um, which I'm gonna try to weigh if I can get that out, but you'll see the green fuse actually goes right into the lift charge, and then you get this shell within a shell. We're gonna weigh that too. All right, so we've got the scale at zero. Let's see how much lift charge we've got. Okay, so we've got eight grams of lift for this, what I'm gonna say is an inch and a half inch shell. Okay, so this is the little one and a half inch shell. Let's weigh that and see how much we get. And it looks like 49 grams. We have our little ball shell open. Let's see what kind of powder lies inside. So that is actually quite a bit of powder. This is gonna count too because it's now coated in black powder. Um, so actually a pretty decent one and a half inch shell but I wish that they wouldn't market these as three inch shells and just instead make that tube an inch and a half. You know, I would buy it then. So the number 500 tubes by TNT are actually one and a half inches in diameter. Um, but anyway, these stars are big and I have a feeling that's gonna look pretty good in the air. So now let's weigh the stars. All right, we've got the cup zeroed again. Let's see how much all this weighs. So that right there is a 33 gram break in a three inch tube, which at the end of the day, I mean, it's still gonna look good. Uh, the lift charge probably gonna send it up there really high. Um, I will be really interested to see how this thing here breaks up in the air. So let's go light it off. Here goes the TNT number 500 gold brocade. That was actually pretty spectacular for a one and a half inch shell. So I know how bad you guys like seeing the little cup of powder at the end, so here we go. <laughs> Insane.